Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Mafia. We are on part three. We are on the mission Sarah. We are about to walk her home as requested by her father, I believe, and the like Don guy. Don Sal Salarelli, I believe is her godfather. Something I also just noticed, so I think that's Sarah. So I believe Sarah did become his wife. So I'm excited. I'm excited to find out more of their lore and see where it all goes. I'm actually so excited and I'm really enjoying this game too, honestly. I think it's so cool. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Oh, hey, she I get it. Tom. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. What's she carrying? You know, we gotta like talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. <laughs> well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally going to be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Labor is wanted. 35 cents an hour. Damn. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Of course, ma'am. That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us oh. all about you. Hello. Right. You're a famous race driver, Tam. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. In different ways, though. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. You too. Good night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. Sarah brought... There's a game called Siberia, the world before. It's nice you do that. Sarah really that? reminds me of her. Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well... It's um, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Oh, there are bad people up there. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. Oh, sorry. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. The flowers. Flowers for the lady, signore? Get her nah, some right we're now. Good. Dude! No, we don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. <laughs> you said you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. Okay. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo, all this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow <gasps> night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh, so. Oh, no. Oh, hey there, darling. Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? Get We're going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Mm -hmm. Salieri might have been the big six when he was Salieri. younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. 
I don't need Salieri or anyone else. So do you matter of time? Not for this. <laughs> well, <laughs> well <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where are you going, her sweet cheek? I. Keep uh, pressing the wrong button. Uh, Damn it! I can't even see what's going on. Get away from me! Oh wait! 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 I was gonna see if I had a bat. I don't. Oh, that's annoying. Basically, what happens instead of pressing left alt, I'll press the Windows key because they're right by each other. Oh, he's a knight. Nah, you want to play that game? Oh, god. There's a pipe there. I can use the pipe. Go smash the smash. He didn't cross his legs over that time. It's a bit sad. I don't have MSI on. These headphones are basically really noise cancelling. So if I'm in game and I forget, um, I <laughs> get to turn it on. Enter. Where are you going, there, sweet uh, cheeks? Oh god. Back off. Uh, god, you're some kind of dish, ain't ya? Get away from me! Just like you wasted on that cruiser. How do I pick it up? E. Okay. I don't think it will allow me to. Oh, I have it! Oh, wait, what are you doing? Tommy! Alright. A bit embarrassing. I did get a bit beaten up here and there, but it's okay. Get, get away from, from her! Get away from her! Nah. That was my. That I literally just said that. Why are you a copycat? You're such a loser. Fuck hey. it. No harder. Fuck him out. <gasps> Tommy, you're not being for real right now. You're better than this. My turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. Wait, why can't I pick up anything? Defeat? Yeah, I will! Can I have a weapon though? Here's a bat! It's fine, I have my fists. My fists, come here, come here, yeah, yeah. You like that? You like that? You wanna go again? I'll go again. I don't know when the right time for the left hand That's yet. what I got. You son of a bitch! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it! That was too quick, but anyway. I don't think that really. <laughs> you go, Sarah! Oh, I love them! You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. So do you! You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll Say take less. a look. Say less. Say less. Oh, hello, puppy. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. <laughs> what do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Oh. Tom. 
Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Because I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. <laughs> Just be quick about it, will ya? Well, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot oh of fellas. God, I love them. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Oh. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but. Damn, he really kept composure during that. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. Oh. <laughs> You're staying over. <laughs> Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? You got an extra space in the bed? No. And it heats out. Oh, oh what a shame. Myself, though. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it had me giggling all over the place. What the hell? Oh my god, I love them. <sighs> Better get used to it, 1932. This can't stand. No. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. Oh! Oh, Tommy. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break bad. every bone in their bodies. Put them bad. in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. Okay, wait, that's We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could Ooh. still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Talk to Vincenzo. Let's see if there's any more stuff to read. Sarah. Hey. Oh, we can't speak to her. Okay. If I were a younger man, these men would be under a bridge. Throats a slit. Food for fish. We'll Let's teach him respect. Piranhas. Don't worry. But I never worry, but do not tell Sarah this is not the hard affair, not anymore. Sarah's right there, she can literally hear every word you're saying, babes. You gonna want food, Tom? Nah, the Don's got a job for me someplace out of town. Don't worry about it, it'll keep till you're back. Aw, she sounds a lot softer. <gasps> I love this game, I literally love this game. I know there was like some stuff over me not playing the original i had a look at it um but i don't think i would have been able to play it honestly i'm really glad i'm playing the remake maybe one time i'll go back and play the original but for now i really i'm i'm happy i'm playing the remake i think the graphics are gorgeous uh i i, I just love it again the only thing i'm not 
too big on is the gunplay. I do oh god, what the hell? Uh, I don't like the aiming, but everything else I really, really do like. Damn, why can't I practice? I wish there was also stuff like we could read up here. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a photo of them. Oh, he moved it from his desk. I swear it was on his desk last time. That's interesting. Anyway. go speak to Vincenzo. Vin it is Vincenzo, right? Vin Vincenzo. No, Vincenzo. Okay, we need to go up there. Let's go check in with Ralph. I got a car for you here. It's Tom. Hi, Ralph. Okay, we have a car. Uh, I believe we've looked at this. That's a picture of him and his mom. I don't think there's anything else, so... That is a nice car, actually. I guess we're gonna speak to Vincenzo, then go get the car? Maybe? Hey, hey! Here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Polly and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. Oh, he's not using his revolver. I wanna pull this and in our own street. There's something the bus sets. That's all we need. Is that a bat? Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autograph by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. Let's have a look in here. Okay, we can't take ammo, but we can go in there now. Go show those punks this neighborhood's ours. Ooh, swap night. Break some bones, Tom. Hey, if those bats don't get messy, we should have a game out front sometime. Okay, yeah, we need a baseball bat. Uh, semi. Maybe I'll use the semi-auto. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'd assume revolvers do do more damage. <laughs> I'd assume um, revolvers do do more damage, but I'm not 100% sure. And I haven't tried the semi-auto. Heard you had problems with some punks. G -g guys near Sarah's. They give you problems too. Think so. If they haven't already, they, they would. You're not going to have to worry about them anymore. Oh. World's not going to run out of them, t -t Tom. They, the day you want to stop staring them in the face, you can walk away. A fellow like me, that's why I'm in here. He's like, take her on a date. Okay, I don't know what Ralphie's going on about, but we're gonna go meet Paulie. This is a beautiful car. I mean, the reflections in this game are insane. The rain on the road. I. And this came out in 2020, right? I feel like there are games that are coming out now in 2024 that look worse than this. I know that the original is much preferred, but I don't think you can deny the fact that they did a great job with the world and the graphics and everything. And of course, a game isn't all about that, you know? I would argue that the main parts of the game are story or gameplay, because those are 
typically core elements, but when you have beautiful graphics in a captivating story, it's, it, it, I think it can enhance the experience so much more. I guess it does depend on the story. I do think the gameplay falls a little flat. I would argue that that's the only thing that I don't like about this game, the gameplay. But, like, literally everything else is amazing. It truly, truly is. Oh. Oh wait, I have to park. <laughs> Exit. Oh. About time. Come on, I'm wet through. You were literally Why standing undercover. This, this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Nah, he caught yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. You fat bastard. What are you doing? Trick mouth, low team. The bad. You don't know they team. Don't they send some soil? Get him. Dogface. Great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs. Please. No young a fight. So, what's the beef? I need some information. Those two cooks are different. Some jokers times. causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Polly. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. Is he lending the money? What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Class. Ooh. Mexican. You're getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. <laughs> Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. The Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Well, the mountains. Oh, they're not mountains, they're hills. <laughs> the mountains! Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. The same, no shooters. Okay. Take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. <laughs> the side. Well, I mean, at least it's nothing new. At least we're kind of used to it. It's one thing. Tell me the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Oopsie. Come get him! Get He's out. here! Get him. Get him. Get him. To rest. Adios. Over the fence, Tom, before they get away. Don't let him get Billy. Okay. Get your ass behind us. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're gonna die here. You know that? Get your gas, Tom. What? Get it serious. You think I need telling? 
Oh, I that's a new gun. What? I go up. You go through there. Hey, I'm, I'm okay. Sure. size because I it's just I I prefer a smaller reticle I just think it it makes more sense I don't like the big reticle it, it it's too it's too big like <laughs> over here Stand in my way whilst I'm trying to shoot. Oh, nice. Tommy, look out! Here. Uh, 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 here. I got this. I don't know about that one, Chief.
You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the mm. rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tom. I'm lucky I still got two legs to stand on. These guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? I think they kind of do already. Actually, no, I don't think they don't. They're disgusting human beings. I hate races. It makes my heart beat too fast. They think fast. you're gonna get away, huh? They probably will. Seen you drive like I have. Well, it did take me three times to race last time. Don't forget that, Chief. How am I calling him Chief? Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Ooh. Go on a pop and pop. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. This one's finished too. Hmm. Is he gonna kill him with his own gun? Oh no, he's gonna take his cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's already dead, but like, you get what I mean. Oh. oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. Do you remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh. Hey. Get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Why is he... Because, like, it's not like he hasn't killed anyone before, so why is he... Is it because he seemed pretty young? Is it because he begged? Like, I'm really confused as to why Tommy was so hesitant to actually kill him. Because, as I said, he it has, isn't like he hasn't before. And I would assume he would feel some sort of protective instinct over Sarah. So the fact that he hesitated and the fact that he didn't want to and then he went into this trance thing. I wonder what it was. I'm assuming it was something to do with the age because, as I said, the guy looked pretty young or it was the fact that he begged and maybe he had this split second where he was like, what am I doing? Um, what am I gotten myself into? I don't know. I hope we, that gets delved into a bit more. The saint and the sinner. This is all happening in one year, it's crazy. Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. Oh. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. Uh, that's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Well, okay. Like, why the hell would you say that? Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. 
Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. <laughs> His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. Well, that's you want surprise. me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? If oh. Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Ooh, it's a long job. I'm scared. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls Sounds is passing Morello rough. information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. Something weird is going on, right, Sam. Go. I don't know, I've kind of always thought it, but I think something weird is going on with him. Councillor's son is slain. William Billy Gilotti, son of LH City Council, President Ro Roberto Gilotti, Gilotti, sorry, was found dead by firearm inflicted wounds this past Sunday. The body was discovered by police officers investigating reports of a wrecked automobile. There is presently no suspect or even a clear motive for this senseless murder, which bears all the hallmarks of a gang rule. I'll meet you here. That's for sure. You hear they're burying the Galati kid today? Yeah. You better bury you lose your card you. game? Something like that. <laughs> we rub out and started getting Same. back up. That's why. Oh, I've never got to go down out back here before. How exciting. Let's go see Ralph. I don't know. We have a guy all day. I do think something weird is going on with Sam. I have this gut feeling not to trust him or something. I know he was seeing someone at the race. Was that the one Heard we you got in the to market kill? For something that goes boom. Thanks, my dude. Dab it up, dab it up. What are those? Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. That's crazy. Anyway. Okay, so I have the... I, I think I'll keep the pistol. Can I... Uh, it's a shotgun. You remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? <sighs> I'd really rather... My hunting... The hunting rifle. We have to talk. Get in. Ooh. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Okay. 
Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Yeah, that's And that was right. the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. You gotta see it through, my boy. You gotta see it through. Keep your head when you get in at the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Pilate died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, That's I'll do crazy. my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? Some, I would say, is definitely more of the experience. First time I've been to a church one. in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Damn point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. Well, that's uh, a shame. Uh, uh, Seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. <laughs> Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. But yeah, I would say Sam is definitely the one that's allowed to now, go and do more stuff by himself. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope, too. That's crazy. That, that's mean. Come on. What is... Oh, you were literally... Wow. Oh you drive like this in your old job. Yeah. The car was still, and I don't think there was a traffic light. Ah! Girl, maybe just don't cross the roads like that. God. Here's your stuff. Come by me. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Uh. Okay, now we're driving to the hotel. We always do jobs with Bully though. I would like to. Oh gosh. I would like to have a few more jobs with Sam, especially because. I don't know. I'd like to see the dynamic between them a bit more. Wait, why doesn't Sam attend his own wedding? Oh, that's a pop car. Never mind. Whoops. Better not slam into them. Let's go. David, see? yourself in here okay sure hey handsome hey you here for a girl drinks or a mix of the two a girl and i got some business with your manager too a girl i can help you with come through find the girl you like and you can both get better acquainted upstairs there's no rough come through when you're ready you get a room when you get a guy okay. not before ah <sighs> fine you know the rules daddy i can help you I There's need to talk with the manager. You with our new associates. He's in the lounge. Head through the bar. Can't miss it. Okay. Who's these new guys getting to run in the place? And a manager having to play nice. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I'm panicking. Let's go through here first. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Just how I like I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like and don't make a fuss. Okay, so Michelle was in here. 
Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. We can... What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. Okay, she's Come upstairs. Come on, honey. Without you, how am I gonna pay the rent? I can tell you're nervous, but I can step you through what we gotta do. Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. Know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. Ooh, you gotta okay. get in line for Michelle. Know a girl named Michelle. Hey, the only girls I know are the ones behind you, sir. And the only ones available. Okay, he said book yourself in with the guy at the reception, which I'm guessing is this dude. Something else? Is Michelle in today? Let me check. She's in, but she's busy. If you're waiting for Michelle to come down, she ain't gonna. She's got fellows in with her all day long. Okay. Let's see here. Mom, I'm sorry. Kill the manager in the lounge. The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family long and fruitful. Okay. Okay, these are the people I have to kill. I don't really want to, I'm scared. If you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come huh. over and uh, keep you entertained. Okay, you know what? You must be the manager. Don Celieri sent his regards. You need to leave. I'm panicking. Get some cover. He's there. Gotta be in now. Okay, I know this. Damn. <clears throat> How can you shoot through the glass, but I can't? To read this logbook, I think. Read now. Guys of Street 106 needs a clear up. Morello party. Detective books. What's through here? Anything important? I need ammo. Ammo back here? Yeah, there is. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. 
Let's make our way upstairs. Oh, where am I going? Out here. Wait, there's armor back there. You're not wearing a shirt. Where to go? Okay, I think there's a bad dude back here. Oh no, but this is important. Oh no, it's not. Well, it's collectible. I guess that means something. Two zero eight, two zero eight. I think that uh, they might be upstairs. I'm coming for you. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm so sorry about that. Michelle, room 208. Nice room, splendid. Warm stuff. With warm stuff. 201. Oh, health, yes. Nice. Gosh. Get this reloaded. Oh, what's this? Comics. Nothing in there. You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You Don. know him. <laughs> Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. Tommy. This puppy goes with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then? Tommy! Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in the head. Do you understand? She has amazing teeth. Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. I think he could be so aggressive because he knew he wasn't going to kill her, but when it actually comes down to doing so, that's when he can't and he hesitates. Michelle, you're in room 208 all day with Morales, guys. I'll be downstairs in the lounge sending them up. They get what you want. No, they get what they want, and as much as they want it, you complain, you lose your place. There's plenty more girls like you. Come up to my office on the top floor in that gold. Something I like so much. Oh. If you feel like changing your mind. It will come up if there's something on the map, so... Over the cover. Over here. Oh. 
my dude. You're in mine. Uh, let me keep shotgun. I'm looking for you. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Actually, let me reload. Oh, there's health. I really like the map in this game, actually. Who are you speaking to? Oh, Ooh. there's ammo in here. Good move. Uh, let me change. I got him, no way. Hey, oh god. What? No! Damn it. Oh, it's only, okay. I so badly need health, but there's none here. No. No. Oh no. It's not what it looks like. Oh, I'm just gonna. Okay, don't. Okay. Adios, amigo. What's this? Dear Morello, the following patrons may be of interest. I have their details should you need them. Several city councillors and the one congressman, senior officials in the federal tax office, deputy director of the prison service on board of appeals, prohibition bureau chief at the LHPD. In addition, a number of sal sal salieri associates, a sweet amount of guys on fond of... Okay, we will keep an ear out for your interest. Yours cordially, Howard Davis, the manager of the hotel. Got some money, dear Mr. Callier. Clary, I must apologize for missing our regular appointment last week. I had urgent family matters to attend to at short notice. It is with some regret that I write to confirm the termination of our agreement. Mr. Sal Salieri has been a wonderful business partner over the years. I am most grateful for his support and your wise counsel. Please find with this massive missive a return of Mr. Salieri's investment among with hundreds with a hundred dollars as a gesture of goodwill. Our doors are always open. We remember our friends here at the Polo Polo. Uh, 
to the safe. Can we open the safe? Oh, I don't already, you know? Okay. Would we not want to try and open the safe? I guess I wouldn't. He can, he so can. Come on, Tommy. <gasps> Tommy, you've got to go. I don't know, look, he thinks it's a bit too late for that. or something. Oh, it's not here. It's over there. I can't get over there. Maybe I can if I go through here. I need health though. Please. Is it here somewhere? Where's my card? Oh, it's here. I use the ladder. Woo! It saved me. Oh, that makes me feel sick. fallen we can find redemption in death now William he was a sinner yes a saint and a sinner but he was also a loving son a protective brother and a loyal friend and for those virtues we pray that his soul will find salvation and now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words thank you father isn't that the door? I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy. I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. 
So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Tommy. Billy. Please. Jesus, what was Billy involved in? Over here. Where's Sam? Wait, there's a thing. Was Sam not meant to be here? Where's the other dude? You interrupt his Down there! You could have stopped all this days Big ago. Hell. This city works. Hit him from the side. <clears throat> there. Where I go from there? Oh, I think I have to go around the other way. you done murder in the house of God these men were criminals father thieves rapists killers and God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness now which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor which one might have saved just one life none of us father how are you I, what the you bastard you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. Sam. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. There you are. Take your time. That make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Sam. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. I have you now. Where's Sion? He's in a car. 
Sam, hurry up! Sam, get in the car! I think I was meant to kill them. Okay, I'm gonna die. Today didn't turn out like I expected. <sighs> Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, oh, yeah it was messy, sense. but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. I don't know how I'm gonna get them off our backs. Cars reported him in North Park. And I'm too low on health. Like I don't know what to they do. They giving up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. I don't know what to do. Don't bring the cops with you. I'm trying. I'm quite literally going the fastest as fast as I can. I don't know what to do there. Maybe we have to kill them all as we come out the church. That's the only thing I can think of. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Inform a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the hearse, let's go. Are you kidding? Uh, it's got so wheels on it. Sam, get in. Sam, get in. Sam! Suspect and accomplice escaping in a hearse. I repeat, a hearse. Today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Oh, like... <clears throat> Whoopsie. Sorry, guys. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. They given up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to... Patrol. Okay. We lost them. <sighs> Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut, don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose, and you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. The boss will be pleased. Okay, well... Uh... 
I don't know, I could not get like thing out of this, so A cola cola car it is cool. That scared me. I didn't think I was gonna make it out of that, but I did. I am just honestly too good. Yeah, no rush. Take your time. Jesus, this guy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Damn, I didn't see that. Didn't see that. Where are you going? Come back to the car. What? I hope something didn't mess up because I didn't take the horse. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, no rush. Take your time. Jesus, this guy. I don't know what that means. Come on, we got places we need to be. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Tommy? Tommy! Jeez. I don't know what's going on with the dialogue. Where are you going? Come back to the car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a good shout. Were you sat in the gin mill last night again? Come on. We got places we need to be. Oopsie. Please load this in. Please. Down. Thanks again, Sam, yeah, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. <sighs> Christ. It's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. And that is the Saint and the Sinner complete. Thank God it allowed me to get back because I genuinely don't know what I would have been able, like, I don't know what I would have done that into Mezzo. Oh, this is six years later. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Tommy. we're back in the- You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Yeah. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need it and catch on. 
Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, that was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. I never really liked Frank. I There's a lot a of buzz around him. town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. I just think of Alfred. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. Oh. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now so looking weird. to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy. You could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. Hi. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. A trip to the country, 1933. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save and leave that there. That was a cool little insight towards Frank and Tommy at the end there, though. But I've been re recording for a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. We will continue next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next part of Mafia. Okay, bye.